morning, my name is Samuel Pisos Maji and today I will present you my presentation about application of computer aided device engineering in the design of orthotic boots for club foot patient. Our focus research is one club foot patient from birth and here are some urgency and novelty of the research. One, equity and decimation of modern technology for Indonesian society. Two, this technology allows for measurement process to be carried out in the various places throughout Indonesia. And three, it has never been done by the shoe industry or by early doctors. Target research product. One, adult orthotic boots. Two, adult orthotic boots design. And three, prototype of the foot of the club foot fashion. And then paper is publication to index national or international church. So what is club foot? So according to the statement of Dr. Box from the SPOT Santo Carlos Hospital, club foot is a deformity or the deformity in the shape of the foot that occurs from birth but the exact cause is not known. But usually or generally cause of club foot is because of the stiffness and of the muscle that and tendons of the inside of the foot so that the tendons become short and pull the foot. So, why club foot? So, from the picture of the type of shoe, we can find the problem that one, uncomfortable when using shoe, and then two, difficulty finding size of the shoe that fit the contours of the patient club foot. Three, custom shoemaker find it difficult to make the club foot shoe model. And then four, need more time to use the old type of shoe, more than 20 minutes per lack. So what's the solution of this research? So research on the use of model on the modern technology based on the computer aided reverse engineering system so that it's able to meet the complaints of clubfoot patients in their activities using shoes that are specifically designed to fit the patient fit. Here are some definitions of reverse engineering. One from Corbo. Stages of process of taking physical data from the product, management data from the set of coordinates, reconstruction of the surface, and manufacture of CAD products and validation of products model. Two from Raja. A step to imitate existing product as a basis for the designing new similar products by changing design, minimizing weaknesses, and increasing product advantage of their predecessor. And then three from Vivo, activities to analyze system through the identification of its component and the relationship between component, as well as extracting and making abstract and design uh, information from the system being analyzed. Or the shoe. Or the shoe is a tool for footwear specifically designed to support the ankle and foot during daily activities and help the healing process or reduce pain in patients with diabetes during the re rehabilitation process. Design research methodology. First is start patient club foot and then two is 3D replica from the foam box and then scanning 3D model design process with CBS model and then cam process with a power mill 2016 and then the last one is making the boot process. Here are the picture process of the 3D method with a traditional foam box. And then we can have the A prototype model as a physical model. And then B, fit, club, fit of club foot patient. RE obtains a 3D mass model. Here are the picture of output 3D mass model of the patient club foot. Here are the picture of CBS model convert to insole and sulas. Here are the picture of the stages of the design process based on the CBS model until the boot insole and sulas are obtained. Here are the product of the adult boots research. There are some sulas and the model of the leg. And then we have the shoe model. And then we have the picture of the patient walking.
So from this research, we can conclude that this research, after being carried out jointly by the researcher with help of a research from the City Patria Undip Research Group, is able to prove that care system technology used in this paper can answer the challenges of designing and manufacturing orthotic boots for club foot patients. The result of the shoes that have been done turned out to be really useful for patients in carrying out their daily activities. In the future, this technology can also be used by anyone in resolving the problems faced by patients with other food deformity. Thank you for the tutors and then judges, parents, and for the guidance and support of research fund from Zipat Undip Research Group team and CV Zipat Engineering. And thank you for Prof. Payuseno and Prof. Jamari. If you have any question about our presentation or our research, please contact this email.